assalamu alaikum my name is kumal arshad and the topic we i'll be presenting today is phylum platyhelminthes so uh, before starting uh, the phylum we will move toward the contents so here are the contents we will study introduction and the distinguishing features of the phylum platyhelminthes so uh, moving towards the introduction platyhelminthes uh, are actually known as platform this uh, word is derived from the greek word platus means flat and helminths means worm so uh, the platyhelminthes or the flat worms have bilateral symmetry triploblastic organization and they are acylomates here are the few examples of the uh, platyhelminthes planaria liver fluke and tapeworm so uh, as we can see in the diagram that uh, liver fluke has a body that is compressed and that is a planaria so all right uh, we have studied the three terms that are the typical characteristics of platyhelminthes that are they have triploblastic organization they are acylomates and and their body is bilaterally compressed so moving on toward the third uh, toward these characteristics we will see that in the first case as you can see in this diagram that what does triploblastic organization mean triploblastic organization is actually the organization of organism in which the parts or the organs of organism are derived from the three germ layers all the three germ layer endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm play a very vital role in the development of the organism so platyhelminthes are the first organisms to have the organ level of organization in the invertebrate phylum we have studied so far as you, you know that you have studied dedarians and polyphron there was there were cellular level of organization there were no organ level of organization though they were multicellular organisms but they were not having the proper organs to perform the proper functions now what does coelomate means a coelomate means sorry what is a coelom a coelom is actually a body cavity that that have many organs suspended in it so and the blood helminthes do not have this body cavity they are acylomate as you can see in the first diagram that this is our acylomate structure and this is our coelom they do not have the coelom as you can see clearly in this diagram so the third distinguishing feature of the platy helminthes is that they have a bilateral symmetry now what does mean by bilateral symmetry bilateral symmetry is a type of the symmetry in which one plane passing through the organism divides the animal into two equal halves or two mirror images as you can see in this diagram when we divide this when we when we will uh, be dividing this plane area into by passing by cutting through this line or this plane it will divide into two equal halves so these are the typical characteristics of the planarians that are used now we will move toward the distinguishing features of the platyphylum platyhelminthes now the first and foremost uh, important characteristic of the phylum platyhelminthes is that the organism or the worms included in this are flat worms now how they are flat they are dorsal ventrally compressed animals now we will uh, see this what is what is actually dorsal side dorsal side is the outer surface of the animal the side facing the uh, environment is known as dorsal side and the side uh, let me find the pen first so the side facing the environment as you can see here is dorsal side and uh, this is the dorsal side of the animal that is facing the environment and this is the ventral side if we consider it as human being the side having the vertebral column is the dorsal side while the side having the ribs and uh, various internal organs present in it is the ventral side so they are dorsal ventrally compressed animal 
the pressure is being applied from this side and this side as well so this pressure leads to the formation of this animal let's say into a thin sheet so these are the flat worms all right so moving on towards uh, the next distinguishing features that triploblastic organization and acelomate we have discussed earlier now uh, now the second distinguishing feature is that these are unsegmented worms uh, there are no segments found in the body of the platyhelminthes as you can see in this diagram their their body composes of a whole as animal whole lot as animal there are no divisions or segments present in the body so the body of the platyhelminthes is actually free of uh, strobilization or you can say segments the gut is incomplete in these animals the as you can see in this diagram the, this is the mouth this is the gastrovascular cavity there is no complete gut found in these animals and uh, extracellular digestion happens in these animals as there is no psyllium present so uh, moving on toward the next, next distinguishing feature there is the there is some kind of cephalization in animals in these animals platyhelminthes are the first animals to have a brain or a head uh, sorry a brain in, uh, and they have they do not have the actual brain but they have the basal ganglia a pair of basal ganglia present in the platyhelminthes followed by a longitudinal nerve cords longitudinal nerve cords are joined by the commissures all right we will uh, discuss it in the next diagram as you can see that there are two cerebral ganglions and these two cerebral ganglions are joined by the transverse sorry longitudinal nerve cords that run along the entire length of the body and these two longitudinal nerve cords are joined by the transverse commissures so this system this nervous system of the platyhelminthes or flat worms is the first and foremost step toward the cephalization and the whole part whole body whole animal is sensitized to the nerve stimulation from the outside as the nervous system is spread in the whole body of the organism so uh, this cephalization this this change in uh, this evolution in the uh, platyhelminthes have made them a uh, a supreme a superior animal as compared to the the invertebrate phyla as we have discussed earlier so uh, the evolution it will lead into the formation of the brain leads to the more survival of the organism as it can respond to the all the environmental stimuli with the help of it and cephalization helps the animal to survive better in the environment so the next character is that Protonephridia are used as excretory or osmoregulatory structures. In humans, invertebrates, we do have kidneys, but in case of invertebrates, we do have the excretory organs such as protonephridia and metanephridia. In case of platyhelminthes, we have protonephridia. Now we will see what are the protonephridia. <clears throat> uh, the, this actually the excretory system is. right the excretory system composed of the two canals running along the entire length of the body all right these excretory canals have the do not have the opening like in external internal opening they have the uh, blunt ends forming the flame cells so the blunt ends are the flame cells then flame cell drain the material into the excretory pore now we will look at the uh, how it actually works so uh, this protonephridia protonephridia present on the surface of the animal body now the excretory canal ends in a uh, blunt into the flame cells so uh, what happens in the actually in the canal the flame cells there is a interstitial fluid or the waste fluid always present surrounding the flame cells now what flame cells will do the interstitial fluid will move into the flame cell and then the cilia present in the flame cell will move the fluid down and then the fluid will move to the excretory pore as uh, as similar to our kidneys the vital nutrients such as potassium sodium 
will be retained in the body and the waste will be removed by the excretory pore the excretory pores are known as nephridio pores nephridio pores these nephridio pores are actually present on the surface of the animal body as you can see in this diagram these are the, the pores present on the surface of the animals these are nephridio pores excretory pores are nephridio pores So the last distinguishing characteristics of the phylum platy helminthes is that they are hermaphroditic. They have complex reproductive systems. Hermaphrodite animals are those animals.